Hello friends, welcome back to Creative Minds. So today we'll be looking something different. Yeah, it's MIT App Inventor. What exactly is this MIT App Inventor? MIT App Inventor is a platform where we can create several apps. It's mainly used for creating apps. And it's very easy. Trust me, it's very, very easy. And it's absolutely for free. I hope you got a brief idea on what is a Mighty App Inventor. So what will we be doing today? Today we'll be looking at how to open a Mighty App Inventor and how to start a new project, what is the designers and block section, how to use it. And we'll be looking at how to run our app. So before doing all these things, I would like to talk about the AI Companion and the Emulator. So AI Companion and Emulator is used for running our app. Either is fine. You can uh, either install your AI Companion or your Emulator. So I will be uh, telling you on how to install the AI Companion. So in your Android device like mobile or tablet, go to your Play Store and then uh, just type uh, in the Play Store, just type MIT AI 2 Companion. After doing that, hit the install button and now you are done. So you will see two things which is scan QR code and connect with code. So let's explore them on how to open a Mighty App Inventor. So to open a Mighty App Inventor, go ahead to your Google Chrome browser and type a Mighty App Inventor. So I'm sure you can see the first link and I'm, I'm going to click on it. Yeah. This will redirect you to this page. I'm giving this link, uh, website's link in the description box below. So uh, we're gonna click on create apps so that uh, it can lead to the fascinating app. Yeah, so did you see that? We learned how to open a Mighty App Inventor. Now let's start our new project. So click on the start new project and then it shows this kind of dialog box and I'm gonna give my project a name. So I'm giving it as test2. So there are a few restrictions of it. So when I give test space, it, uh, it says project name cannot contain spaces. Test underscore two will be used if continued. Did you see that? There, uh, it should be no spaces. So I'm gonna cross the space, yeah. And I'm gonna give OK so that we can create our project. Yeah, did you see? Yeah, did you see that? We have learned how to open a Mighty App Inventor and we have even started our new project. Now let's see what is the designer and block section and how to use it. So this is the designer section. Under designer section, you can see palette, viewer components and properties so what is palette palette is something you can drag and then put it in your viewer section this contains our user interface layout media drawing and animation maps sensors social storage etc what is this viewer viewer is something we can see so like it uh, like shows how our app is so the designer section just decides how our app should look and components what is components well so from the palette section you drag a uh, component and then place it to your viewer in the viewer you can see all the things so i'm just gonna drag a button and place it in the viewer did you see as soon as i dropped in the viewer section it has even come in the component section so whatever we drag in the viewer section it's gonna show in the component section so it just tells you what and all you what and all uh, uh, components you have used so now what exactly is this properties what does it do well properties uh, give a better design of your uh, app so for example this app I mean this button is just normal so we can change the text we can change the color we can change uh, I mean the thickness of the the thickness of the button and etc 
so uh, let me change the app text so the text is text for button one and let me change it to like um, here something like that okay so did you see that as soon as I change it has also changed so we can do many things like that now I'm sure you have a pretty good idea on designer section designer section is nothing that it just allows uh, it decides how your app is gonna look like okay now let's move to our blog section so this is the designer and this is the blog I'm gonna click on it yeah did you see that as I already told you it's a blog base so it's full of blocks when I click on control do you see that all the thing comes of blocks there are many options over here wow huh. fine the blocks lets uh, the lets your app on how to act as i already told you that designer tells how your app is going to look like but this block session will dis uh, will decide how your app is going to act like now you see in the designer section yeah there's only button but what does this button do yeah so something when we click on it it should do something right so that is why this block section is used for so i hope you got an idea on what is a block section so how to use it you know you go to control anything and you're gonna drag this did you see that we have dragged our component and if you wanna delete this you can just drag it and then place it near the uh, dustbin box and, and leave it it's gone yeah so yeah we are done with okay yeah fine so uh, we're done with the designers and block section so let's move on how to run our code I have already guided you on how to install the AI companion so go ahead and open your AI companion in your, in your own Android device after doing that click connect over here and you see AI companion just click on it after doing that in your Android device you can see two options which is connect with code and scan QR code so if you want to connect with code in the white color me message box kind of thing it's a six character code isn't it you're gonna type uh, the code which display uh, displays to you in this case it says your code is G A W G H P so I'm gonna type on it and then click connect with code or if you want to scan this QR code click your second option which is scan QR code I'm clicking on it and then we're gonna scan this QR code after doing that you can see a test to progress bar going on so the output is gonna look like so uh, this is how it looks like when I click on it it doesn't function because we haven't coded yet as we have only done the designer section uh, so I will be creating many apps like this so we have to wait till that. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, don't forget to share so that everybody knows about the thing. Bye.